Alright, what's going on YouTube family? Really quickly before we get into this video, I need to make an announcement. And it's not something that I'm excited to announce. It's not something I'm excited to say. But I believe that it's something that needs to be done. So for the last week and a half to two weeks, you guys have heard me talk about this Alfleet launch. And with that, you know, with that, you've also heard me talk about this sizing issue. You know, when I first got the shirts, I realized, wow, this is tighter than the sample I confirmed. This is a little bit tighter than I wanted, but you know, it, it'll be okay. I'll just tell everyone order a size up. And as I'm having different friends and different body types try these shirts on and myself continue wearing them, I'm like, man, these are, you know, these are pretty tight. My larges fit like really tight mediums, my mediums fit like smalls, my XLs fit like larges. To me, I've been losing sleep over this, guys. I've been stressed out and anxious because I know that there's something wrong with these shirts. The sizing is not correct. It is not exactly what I ordered. These shirts are not going to be released on January 3rd. The Alphalete launch the company launch is getting pushed back four to five weeks. I am gonna fix the issue. I'm gonna take a hit. I can't just go return these shirts. I'm gonna take a hit. But I think that hit is worth the first impression. I want you guys to receive this and love the product. And trust me, you will. So, give me four to six weeks, guys, four to five weeks, and early to mid-February, Alphalete's coming live, February 2015. And thank you guys for understanding. I'm gonna do the absolute best I can do no matter what it takes. So thank you, enjoy this video. Uh, what's going on YouTube family? Uh, starting this vlog, we're about to go work out at Lifetime here locally, and so I don't really want to take my big <laughs> Canon 70D with the microphone and everything, so I'm using the little handheld today, or at least for these next few clips, but like I said, about to head to Lifetime, get a leg workout in. Here I have one and a half scoops of the brand new Sally Corsi for, let me show y'all real quick. Uh, where'd I put it, where'd I put it? Okay, here. All right, so here's the old C4, as you see, and uh, here is the new C4. It's like a new container. Uh, they pretty much, Cellicor redid all their products recently. It's called the G4, fourth generation. Um, so they pretty much just amped up, looking at the ingredient label, they amped up the caffeine a little bit, amped up the beta alanine a little bit, and it's really all that I can see. Um, now they are coming out with like C4 Sport, I know, which, uh, don't quote me, but I believe it's just a stronger version of C4. But this is still a stronger version than the previous generation. So um, one scoop is 150 milligrams of caffeine. So taking one and a half, so 225 milligrams right here, as well as all the other good ingredients. So I'm gonna drink this, head a lifetime, try to record a few sets for y'all, and uh, I'll see y'all after. It was kind of funny, because walking in, like I, I don't have my card, so I always say, hey, I don't have my card, but my last name is Guzman, first name Christian, so they look me up. and. Uh, when I lost my wallet, when it got stolen here at the parking lot, um, my card, I, you know, I canceled all my cards immediately. And so I, I don't think I paid a membership here in like a few months, honestly. <laughs> um, so like when she pulled out my name, I kind of looked over the computer and I saw three like red stop signs, like stop, stop, stop. But uh, she let me in anyway. So I mean, she didn't even say anything. She was like, yeah, go ahead. So like, all right, yeah, all right, that works. Thank you very much. But um, about to go in here, starting out with some squats. And uh, I don't have much battery, so I'm just gonna record my working sets, a few working sets of maybe like one working set of every exercise. And uh, yeah, we'll see. Here we go. All right, what's going on, YouTube family? Back with a commentary for you all today, and I feel like it's been forever since I've actually done a commentary. Uh, recently, in these past few weeks, I've been incorporating a lot of, you know, more like raw kind of, you know, just normal atmosphere kind of gym footage and I just felt like throwing in a commentary would be a nice change of pace so hopefully you guys enjoy it don't really have a game plan where I'm going to talk about but I'm going to make it up as I go so um, today I started out with barbell squats I have 280 pounds here on my back and squats felt so good today I was uh, going for sets of 8 reps so 280 for 8 reps and I just I was in the zone as I felt my you know my glutes were activating my hamstring felt good and you know the music was playing the great songs were coming on and I just felt really in the zone um, you know I had my knee sleeves my inzer belt my squat shoes I just I don't know it was just everything was on um, on my squat session but moved on to some lying hamstring curls this is my favorite hamstring machine I actually have the same machine at CG Fitness but on this one I really like to focus on you know when I talk about like 
you know, your back movements, you're pulling through your elbows. You know, whenever you're pulling something for your back, you're pulling through your elbows, and that's gonna help with the contraction a little bit on your lats. Well, when I'm doing hamstrings, especially the seated hamstring, or the sliding hamstring curl, I like to think of doing that same thing with my heels. So I'm pulling my heels forward. You know, I'm pulling through my heel as opposed to just, you know, thinking of pulling through my calf or my leg. Uh, pulling through the heel and really focusing on squeezing my hamstring as hard as I can and controlling the weight down is what I highly recommend you guys trying out. Other than that, I guess we can do a quick kind of recap and you know summary of body weight and strength and all this stuff really quick. So I've been in a surplus since, what was it? I would say about four to five weeks now, four to five weeks roughly, and up about three, two to three pounds. So I'm still under 170 feeling really good. My strength is going up on all of my lifts. I'm, you know, my back movements are getting better. My squats are getting better. My, my bench press, my uh, incline is getting better. And I'm just feeling really good. I feel like this is a body weight I like to be at. I think I said that in a video um, a while ago, but I really like being right under 170 because I feel strong and you know, I feel full. And um, I feel like it's a good position to build muscle for me and without getting, you know, kind of overboard and gaining extra weight when it's not really necessary. So i um, gaining very steadily right now. And then as we get closer to the expo season, when Gymshark going to dial it in and uh, get pretty lean for that. So you saw the squat press there doing six plates for like 12 to 15 reps, I believe. I don't like going too um, low rep on the squat press or leg press. I prefer kind of in that 10 to 15 rep range. And even, you know, if you're feeling if you're feeling crazy, you can try the 20 to 25 rep range to kind of burn out at the end. But um, I normally stick between 10 and 15 on the squat or leg press. Seated calf raise, because I don't have a standing calf raise, I definitely prefer standing over seated. But uh, made it work, controlling the weight down, pausing at the bottom and exploding up exploding <laughs> and same thing here really just controlling the weight on here guys and pushing or really pushing my toes out and helping me get a better contraction on my quads on the quads <laughs> so that's it for this commentary i hope you all enjoyed it thank you so much for watching stay tuned for the rest of the video february 2015 alpha is gonna launch and so pumped for it so freaking pumped so enjoy finished up that workout my legs are freaking smoked. Just did five exercises. Is exercises. My legs are really, really tired. Um, I'm still wearing my Ray-Ban knee sleeves because I don't want to take off my shoes. And we're here at Target. I have to go get some items, especially a dresser and more storage stuff for the clothes because we have absurd amounts of clothes. Gym clothes. It's only gym clothes. I literally have no. Literally gym shark. Literally, it's just gym shark. I don't have any like. I tried to get dressed for the movies the other day, and I looked for like one normal t-shirt. I didn't have one normal t-shirt in the house, and so I had to like get one out of it. It's really gross, but it was dirty, so I just like put it in the dryer and wore it again. <laughs> Don't tell them that. Whatever. It's not like I was like sweating in it. I just wore it for like a few hours, you know. What shirt was that? Whatever. Guys do that all the time. So here at Target, I'm gonna go in here, like I said, and check in with y'all. Check in with y'all later. Oh, my leg hurts. My like my groin is really sore uh, from rollerblading because like when you're skating you kind of like push off this side you know you push out. I'm really sore because I haven't done that kind of movement in a long time. So here we go. I'm everyone's looking at me. Hey, I'm gonna have a conversation with you. Can you stop vlogging? Yeah. <laughs> Bye. All right, guys. So. It's right at about two in the morning. About to head to bed. But um, today's been a crazy day, it's been Sunday. Not crazy, um, it was kind of nice because we went to go see Nikki's family today in Seguin. So it was a two and a half hour drive up, two and a half hour drive back, um, all in one day. So it's been a lot of time on the road today. But um, finishing off the night with two scoops of protein, 50 grams, because I figure, um, or just kind of like a pattern whenever I'm traveling or whenever I have a busy day and I don't really plan my meals or go out to eat like a big, you know, meal. Um, I'm normally short on my protein at the end of the day. So be sure to finish off and hit your protein. A lot of times like you feel kind of lazy at night and you're like, do I really need that last meal? I'm tired. I haven't had my protein yet. But um, be sure you try to do that, guys. So doing that, 
Uh, tomorrow is exciting. I have a lot of work, so waking up really early, but also I'll be meeting a very special guest that I'm sure you guys know and love. So stay tuned. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Here at CVS, and it's almost like a ritual, guys. I pretty much come here, I'd say four or five times um, a week, right before my workout, pick up my gallon of water, and depending on how I'm feeling, grab an intro workout carb. So I should get one of these Ozarkas right there. And I think I know the carb of choice that I want today. I'll show y'all. Sour Skittles. The whole entire package, you're looking at 47 carbs. And I usually only have about half a package during my workout. This Saturday, time goes. Hey, hey, what's up, brothers and sisters and I? <laughs> Over here at CG Fitness. This is H Town. H Town. About to get nasty. H Town.